No fewer than 13 bills that have sought to repeal all or part of House Bill 6 have been introduced since September 2020, less than two months after the case was filed. Some of these were brought by Republicans, several by Democrats. Only one passed. The repeal of the heart of the law, the billion dollars in subsidies for the two nuclear plants that all Ohio electric utility ratepayers would have paid over 10 years. But the rest of the law remains, including the gutting of energy efficiency programs by utilities and the state's requirement for renewable energy standards for those utilities, and the subsidies for two coal-fired power plants, the Kiger Creek plant in Galley County and the Clifty Creek plant in Indiana. The most recent bill would repeal those subsidies for those facilities operated by the Ohio Valley Electric Corporation, which one study suggested could total $1.8 billion by 2030. OVEC is owned by more than a dozen utility companies, including two subsidiaries of First Energy. It's sponsored by two Democrats, Representative Casey Weinstein of Hudson and Representative Sean Brennan, a freshman from Parma. I'm not convinced that they were needed. Um, you know, I, I know that our utilities are making record profits. Um, again, I know that uh, many of our residents are struggling out there right now, and any help we can provide them with uh, is helpful. Um, so again, if, if the utility companies can make a case that these subsidies are absolutely needed, uh, then we can look at it after we undo uh, this piece of, uh, of HB6. Other bills have come forward since the arrest of Larry Householder yeah. that have tried to repeal all or part of House Bill 6. Right. They haven't gotten very far. Uh, yeah. Democrats are in the super minority. What yeah. is your hope for this bill? Well, I would say this. First of all, I'm very encouraged by uh, Governor DeWine coming out in favor of uh, eliminating the subsidies. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, and I think uh, it's good timing. You know, last year when I was campaigning, I can literally count on one hand how many people brought up HB6. I was very surprised by that um, and kind of concerned uh, as well, because I know the Ohio Channel did a great job of trying to educate folks, as did Cleveland.com and other news sources around the state, but it just didn't seem to catch hold for some reason. Uh, but since the trial uh, outcome, um, you know, back in Parma, Parma Heights and West Park in Cleveland, I'm hearing it a lot. And people are very concerned. Uh, they're very angry. Um, and uh, we've got to answer the call of our constituents and, again, undo this corrupt bargain. What about the other parts of the bill that deal with energy efficiency programs run by utilities and the renewable energy standards? House Bill 6 gutted those. Right. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was very surprised, you know, as I was following the HB 6 discussions, that this bill was, uh, uh, was termed a clean energy bill. Um, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't particularly agree with that. Uh, not to mention the nuclear uh, uh, bailout portion. The bill was already undone, which made me question before I joined the legislature uh, uh, in January, you know, why they just didn't undo the subsidies to the coal plant in Indiana and the one in Ohio. And that, that's part of the problem is that, you know, we're paying to keep 1950s uh, coal-fired uh, power plants. I was born in 1970. Um, and from what I understand, these things are well beyond their years. And, and one of the things I think I'd like to hear from, from the utilities is, you know, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they, these plants are closed, right? So what are they doing? What's their plan for the workers in those, um, in those plants to help them transition to what's to come uh, with cleaner energy and so forth? So I, my heart goes out to the workers who, who probably are, feel that they're in a very precarious uh, position right now. Why did you focus just on the coal-fired power plants and not the rest of House Bill 6? Why not introduce legislation right. that would just repeal the entire thing? Yeah. So I, I think we have the support for this. Um, you know, I'm talking to colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Um, I think, again, the time is ripe for it. Um, there was uh, a bill introduced in the 134th Congress, uh, as you well know, by a couple of my Republican colleagues. Um, and, uh, and again, I, I, think, uh, I think Ohioans are just really angry right now. It's uh, because, of the, uh, because it's, it's been so well covered. I know the media has spent a lot of money covering the trial um, and done a good job to educate uh, Ohioans on this issue. And uh, because the fo the, my residents and residents around the state are so well educated on it, um, they're speaking to their both Republican and Democratic representatives, and they want something done about it. So I, I think it's good timing. With the governor's support, um, the fact that the bill last General Assembly was, uh, was Republican-sponsored, 
the fact that um, you know I'm hearing from from folks on both sides of the aisle. My my caucus is 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 very much in favor of this. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, on top of this bill, uh, Representative Sweeney and Representative Miranda uh, have also Brian introduced Sweeney and uh, Jessica Miranda. Correct. Yeah. Right. They've introduced an anti-corruption bill. Um, you know, we've got to get to the bottom of this dark money. Uh, one of the things that concerns me even more than ever now that I'm in the legislature, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's at the top of my radar that, you know, residents have a right to know where the money is coming from uh, that is uh, supporting their elected officials. That's only fair. It's only right. House Bill 120 has just been introduced and has not yet been assigned to a committee.